do you need to choose a career or maybe you want to shift from a current job to another one and you're interested in UI UX design but you don't really know where to start? In this video I'll explain how to get started in UI UX design in a fast and efficient way. And by the end of this video you're going to learn everything you need to know in order to get started in UI UX design and see if UI UX design is the path for you. Now just to give you some context as to why you should listen to me, I've been a UI UX designer for over eight years now, also had formal education as I attended a BA in graphic design at Ravensbourne University in London. So I have many years uh, both as a freelancer and also working full-time and part-time for companies of all sizes from startups to multi-million dollar companies and anything in between really. I also have a deep passion for design so I really want to share my experience in the the hope that uh, this is going to be useful for some of you guys out there. And by the way, if you're interested in uh, free resources uh, in order to learn UI UX design and speed up your design processes, uh, feel free to click the link in the description because I have uh, all sorts of resources which are going to be super helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. So my very best recommendation in order to get started in uh, UI UX design uh, is to try and research UI UX design and start playing around with some of the concepts in order to really get a feel if UI UX design is the career path for you. And I would encourage you to do so even before you uh, go to maybe like a three years university course. You kind of want to get the feeling and it's quite easy to do by simply you know, reading books about UI UX design, playing around with uh, design softwares and uh, trying to be engaged uh, within uh, the community. Also doing some side projects and personal projects, that's a really good way in order to see if UI UX design is the right path uh, for you. If you enjoy um, learning about UI UX design, if you enjoy doing uh, projects uh, and things like that, that's a really good indicator that UI UX design might be something that uh, uh, you can definitely explore more in depth. Now, another tip uh, is to actually create a plan of action once you understand uh, if uh, you're really interested in UI UX design. And there's uh, three types uh, of education paths which you can take. The classic one is going to college or university and take a three or four years degree course. Uh, now, of course, the pros and there's pros and cons to this uh, uh, mode of working. Usually it's the most expensive way to learn UI UX design. It's also going to take uh, a lot of time and uh, I did that and uh, I definitely um, I wouldn't say I regret it but there's definitely other paths that you can take uh, that uh, are going to pretty much accomplish the same result. Uh, another thing you can uh, consider is to taking some uh, shorter medium term courses uh, or also UX uh, boot camps. Uh, so these are essentially courses which range from a few weeks uh, to one year usually. And the goal is for you to learn all of the basics uh, of the design uh, field. Uh, and uh, also by the end, uh, you're going to create a portfolio, which is going to be a very, very important thing for you to actually get a job in UI UX design. The third road you can take is to actually be entirely self-taught. Uh, and uh, this is going to be the cheaper route. Uh, the length uh, is of uh, your education path is going to vary uh, by person to person. One of the most challenging aspects of this path though is that uh, although it's free, although it's uh, extremely flexible, um, if you're starting out in a new field, chances are you don't exactly know what to focus on and what's more important and what's less important. So if you're going the self-doubt road, uh, which is totally viable, I know very successful designers that went uh, with uh, this path and you know they, they managed to, to achieve great success. Uh, um, my best recommendation is to actually find uh, a mentor or someone that can at least uh, create a structure and a plan uh, for you to follow so that you can uh, maximize the time that you're learning and that you can really focus on what's most important. I remember during the first year of university, I actually reached out to a designer which I really admired on Dribbble and uh, he ended up being a designer at Facebook. And I remember just uh, discussing a few things with him um, that was really, really important and uh, really a game changer because he actually gave me knowledge about what was working at this at that present moment 
in uh, the design industry while my peers and you know even my teachers in, uh, in university uh, maybe they were a little bit more detached but since he already was having a great success uh, in uh, the design field uh, basically learning and uh, getting feedback from him uh, as to what i should focus on and what should uh, uh, i potentially need to avoid uh, that was really really important and i would uh, uh, recommend you to do the same so just try and find someone that uh, already uh, is at the point where you eventually want to be and uh, then try and model their action and uh, try to learn from them you can easily just send them a message of you know appreciation of you know their work and uh, it obviously it has to be genuine but uh, you just want to create uh, a, a relationship with, uh, with that person and uh, that uh, can definitely pay uh, a lot of dividends uh, throughout your entire career. Another thing which is important to do if you're getting started in UI UX design is uh, for sure learning the design softwares. Now the primary design softwares uh, out there and that are most used uh, nowadays are Figma, Sketch and Adobe XD and uh, I would put uh, into the mix also the Adobe Creative uh, uh, Cloud softwares such as Photoshop, uh, and Illustrator and InDesign. There's definitely going to be software that as a UX, UI UX designer, you're not going to use as often. And when it comes to the other three, uh, my best recommendation is to just learn one. So just decide if you want to learn Adobe XD, Sketch or Figma. If you want to eventually learn another one, they're very similar. So the learning curve between one and another is going to be quite uh, minimum. And uh, with each and every one of these softwares, you can achieve pretty much the same uh, outcomes. You can work uh, at uh, really high levels. So uh, it really isn't that important. Softwares are just a tool. So just decide upon one and uh, stick to it. Another key part of uh, getting started in UI UX design is to create projects because by creating projects, both uh, personal projects and especially projects for other people, you're going to learn so much about the process and uh, you're also going to have uh, items for your portfolio which is absolutely king uh, in the UI UX design world. In fact, you want to create projects with your portfolio in mind and uh, your portfolio is going to be seen by clients and potential employers and uh, their thinking is uh, what, what I'm seeing uh, is this something that uh, has potential uh, for me? So when clients see the portfolio, they're going to think about uh, the potential of your work uh, and uh, your skill set uh, according to their needs. So if, you, if you're interested in becoming a web designer, you want to have a portfolio focused around websites. If you want to become a UI UX designer working on dashboards and web apps, uh, your portfolio should be focused uh, on that. So definitely keep it in mind that the more specific and tailored your portfolio is uh, to your potential client, the better. Another tip uh, is to just get uh, involved uh, and stay up with the design trends. Now, for the most part, there aren't like uh, a lot of design trends uh, coming and going during the year. There's uh, trends which uh, kind of like happen in the course of years. But if you really want to stay on top of your game, I would recommend you to check out uh, websites such as Dribbble, which is a design community and also Behance. Those are uh, two of uh, the, the major design communities uh, out there, but there's uh, also many more and uh, there's plenty and plenty of websites for inspiration and uh, filled up with uh, beautiful, beautiful designs that you can take uh, inspiration and that you can uh, essentially learn what's uh, really trending and uh, going these days. Another tip, uh, and this might seem a little bit more old school, but it really isn't, that is to read books about design, because uh, especially when it comes to learning the basics, I think that blog posts are good, but books uh, just have uh, a different feeling to it uh, and uh, they're really, really useful, especially when you're getting started. I would definitely recommend you some uh, books. Uh, and matter of fact, I have several YouTube videos recommending uh, top UI UX design books. Uh, so feel free to check them out uh, in uh, my channel. And uh, if you're interested in more of these topics, I have over 300 videos on my channel discovery, uh, talking about UI UX design and uh, 
uh, showing also software tutorials and my experience as a freelance designer so that you can uh, save many hours and uh, potentially years of uh, mistakes as I did. On a final note, uh, I also recommend you to get a notebook uh, where you can just like sketch ideas, take notes uh, and uh, you know do wireframes and all those kind of things which uh, are going to be your day-to-day -day as you're as a student of uh, the UI, UX design field. So I hope this video was helpful. If you're interested in more of these videos, again, I have over 300 videos on my YouTube channel and uh, please leave a like because uh, this uh, really helps uh, um, if you like the video, of course. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. Um, I always try to reply to the comments. I also created many UI kits uh, over the course of the years. Uh, just click the link in the description and uh, you're going to find those to get with uh, all sorts of resources which are going to help you learn UI UX design in a fast and efficient way. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.